Hi, Jill. Um, I think it would be neat to be able to disapparate. And then apparate wherever I please. So today I thought I would talk about my tattoos because lately I've been worried about um, people in the wrong social situations finding out about my tattoos when I don't want them to um, and also being sad about the fact that uh, people have negative connotations about tattoos that means I can't show them all the time like I want to. Uh, also before in some of the comments uh, one of the subscribers had asked about one of my tattoos and I don't even know if you could see both of them all the time. So I thought I'd bring them up and tell you uh, the reasons why I got them and the sort of meaning behind them. Okay, the first tattoo I got was actually about eight years ago and it is on the inside, on this side of my arm. I'm gonna try to show you as best I can, but I don't know exactly how well that's gonna work out. Well, hopefully you can see. It is a little kind of abstract Virgin Mary tattoo. Okay. And uh, like I said, I got it about eight years ago. My friend and I actually went and got matching tattoos because we're cute like that. And uh, we thought it was kind of neat. It was halfway based off of a movie called Boondock Saints, kind of a cult classic movie now. And it had two twin brothers and they both had little Marys tattooed on their necks. And so I girled up the design a bit and uh, we used it. And it was just a really neat experience to go with somebody and uh, have that kind of camaraderie and camaraderie. And anyways, uh, just have something that kind of reminded me of, of our friendship and also, you know, I went to an all-girls Catholic high school that had a lot to do with Mary and I just like that kind of reminder. It was kind of weird because one time somebody uh, finally noticed this tattoo because no one ever notices that arm. I know you can't see it when I'm looking down at this point. Okay, but anyway, um, somebody finally noticed it after like months of knowing me and they said, ooh, you know, I didn't think you would have a tattoo. I thought you were a good girl. And I was like, I, I am good. It's a religious tattoo. My bangs are getting really long. But Bethany says I'm not allowed to cut my own bangs anymore. She owns my bangs now. And my other tattoo is on my other arm, and it is the one that keeps getting me caught. I guess I gesture a lot, and then people notice that side because I'm right-handed, so I suppose the gesturing is... Uh, a little more active on that side or something, but I will try to show you. This one might be harder because uh, I have a wall over here that you don't know about. Uh, but it is this, and I'm trying to show you. Hopefully you can see all of it, but it says Expecto Patronum because I'm a nerd. Uh, it is obviously a Harry Potter reference, but also um, a reference to my engagement. And if you haven't seen my engagement story, I will put a link right here so you can go see it and uh, then you'll see that in fact I got engaged at a Harry Potter event and so I thought it would be a neat way to kind of hark back to that because um, Expecto Patronum of course is the spell that you have to use um, you have to think of a really uh, your favorite memory, your best memory, a good memory to activate that spell or use that spell and um, you know my engagement was one of the happiest moments of my life so I thought it would be a really cute way to commemorate that um, and then, you know, obviously, also, my obsession with Harry Potter. Nerd tattoos for the win. So, Julie, I know your opinion on you yourself having tattoos is that you say, um, you don't know anything you would want to be stuck with for that long, which I think is very cute. Um, but obviously you don't judge me for having tattoos, and, you know, you tell me my new one is pretty. So... Uh, but subscribers, what is your opinion of tattoos? Do you have a tattoo? Um, maybe you could show us and kind of explain your backstory about yours in a video response. If your tattoo is in an appropriate place, I don't want to see anything freaky. Um, and if you don't have a tattoo, would you get a tattoo? And or do you really oppose the idea of tattoos? And um, you know why don't you like them? And, and also, do you think people are bad just because they have a tattoo? Oh, I'm bad. I'm going to do laundry later, and then I might watch Disney's Tangled. Oh, I might stay up till every bit of 11.30 tonight. Fridays are super bad. <clears throat> I hope you have a good day, and leaving you with quote.